guys welcome back to my channel it's ladybug if you'd like to see how i created this look then keep watching first i'm going in with the ellipsis labs hyaluronic makeup primer and i'm going to rub that all over my face then I'm going to take some rosehip seed oil and do the same as well. Now it's time to brush my brows up with a spoolie. Now I'm going to use the Nika K Eyebrow Duo in black and I'm just going to shape and fill in my brows. Going back in with the spoolie to fill them in a little bit more and blend them out. And now I'm going to use the Maybelline New York Brow Precise Perfecting Highlighter in the shade Deep to carve out my brows and shape them even more. I'm using a small flat curved brush. And now I'm going to take a flat fluffy brush to blend that all out. And now I'm going to use the NYX eyeshadow base in white and I'm going to take a flat brush to cover both my lids. And I'm going to take the same brush that I used to blend out that brow highlighter to blend out the white eyeshadow base even more. And now I'm going in with the LA Colors Supernatural eyeshadow palette in the shade white and I'm just going to set all the white base that I just did. Now I'm going to use the blue shade from the LA Colors Glamorous eyeshadow palette and I'm going to create a blue eyeshadow on both my lids. I'm going to use a small rounded fluffy brush. I switched to a flat brush in order to help me layer the shade even more. Back to the rounded fluffy brush. And switching back to the flat brush. Wiping, I'm patting the shade on. And now I'm just going to blend out any harsh lines between the blue shade and the white shade using a rounded fluffy brush. I'm also trying to create the shape that I would like. And now I'm going to use the Modessa Makeup Removing Cleansing Water to clean up any eyeshadow that I do not want. I'm 
I'm going to set my eyeshadow with the Milani Make It Last 16 Hour Wear Matte Finishing Spray. And I'm just going to help that dry. And now I'm going to use that flat brush to pat even more eyeshadow to make it more visible. And now that my eyeshadow is the way I would like, I'm going to cover my face with the CoverGirl Clean Fresh Skin Milk in the shade Rich Deep. And I'm going to use a large, flat, fluffy brush. This was my first time using this foundation. It says it's supposed to be a dewy finish, and it was. Also, it's lightweight, it's buildable, and I was so surprised at the fact that it actually blended in with my skin tone. It, I mean, I thought it was awesome. Anyway, I'm going to use a dry beauty blender to blend that out. And I actually put two layers of the foundation on because it is lightweight and I want it just a natural look because I have such a dramatic eye. And now I'm just going to highlight under my eyes with the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Stick Foundation in the shade Golden Honey. I'm going to use a rounded, flat, fluffy brush. And now I'm going to take an even smaller flat brush to get directly under my eyes with the same foundation. Now I'm going to use my fingers to pinch that fluffy brush and get directly under my eyes to blend out the foundation even more. Now I'm just going to set my under eye with the Airspun Loose Face Powder in the shade Naturally Neutral and the Vanna Luxury Powder in the shade number 4. I mix those two together. And now I'm going to contour my entire face with the Black Radiance Concealer Stick in the shade 8003. I'm contouring my cupid's bow and directly above and under my lip to give them more of a full look. And right under my eyeshadow to give my face a different shape. taking a small rounded fluffy brush to blend out part of my contour. Now I'm taking an even larger rounded fluffy brush to blend out the rest of my contour. Oh, and by the way you guys, I am still doing the 1000 subscriber giveaway. Details will be in my rainbow eyeshadow makeup look. So if you'd like to enter the contest, watch the video and we can go from there. I switched back to that small rounded fluffy brush to get the contour that's under my eyes. And now I switch back to the larger rounded fluffy brush to get the rest of my face. Now 
I'm just going to contour my nose a bit more just to make it a little more straight. And now I'm using an empty fluffy rounded brush to blend out any harsh lines. I'm going to take that same flat brush that I used earlier and I'm going to underline my eyes. taking an empty rounded fluffy brush to blend out my underlying eye even more. And now for the fun part, I'm going to use the LA Colors Glitter Liquid Liner in Gold Glam to create a line or a fancy line on my eyeshadow. <laughs> to switch to a thin brush because the brush that came with the eyeliner was a little messed up. So I'm just going to coat the brush that I switched to with the product and finish creating that line. Just checking it out to make sure everything looks in order. Now I'm going to coat my lashes with the IT Cosmetics Superhero Mascara in the shade Super Black. And now I'm going to go in with an off-brand Magnetic Eyelash Kit and I'm going to use the middle pair I'll be sure to link the description of the lashes down below. I've coated where I want to place the lashes with the magnetic liner twice and I used a spoolie to separate my lashes and now I'm placing the lashes on. Now I'm going to use the LA Colors eyeliner pencil in the shade electric blue to underline my eyes. Now I'm going to lightly coat my bottom lashes with the same mascara by IT Cosmetics. And I'm going to coat my brows with the LA Colors Brow Gel in clear. And now I'm going to line my lips with the Wet n Wild Eyeliner Pencil in brown. Now I'm going to fill in my lips with the ELF Lip Plumping Gloss in the shade Mocha Twist. Just going to go over that with the e.l.f. lip lacquer in the shade Fantasy. It's a shimmery goldish shade. And now I'm setting my face with the Milani again. And now I'm going to dot over the places where I'd like to highlight using the LA Colors Illuminating Skin Enhancer Light Reflecting Drops in the shade It's Lit. And I'm going to take a stippling brush and blend that all out along with my fingers. And now for an even more golden and highlighted effect, I'm going to go in with the You Can Be My Honey eyeshadow palette in the goldish shade. 
I'm just going over all the spots where I just highlighted and now I'm going to take a small flat fluffy brush and highlight under my brow and the inner corners of my eyes and my nose a little bit. And now I'm going to take my stippling brush to blend out the rest of the highlighter. And now it's time for slow mos I really enjoyed creating this look, it was so fun, and I'm glad I got to use some new products that I really love. If you guys like what I did, please give a like, share, subscribe, show some love, comment, all of that. And remember, if you'd like to enter in the contest for the 1000 subscriber giveaway, please watch my rainbow eyeshadow makeup tutorial. All the details to enter the contest are in there. Thank you guys so much for watching.